From all over the world, there are signs of change. Up in the Arctic, the lowest level of winter ice since records began. In the Philippines, riots during a drought blamed on global warming. And floods in Britain last winter, which scientists say were more likely with rising temperatures. Today at UN headquarters came appeals for action, first from a Hollywood star. You are the last best hope of Earth. We ask you to protect it, or we and all living things we cherish are history. We want you to act. Now is time to bring a concrete change to the people, to my people in Chad. And then a ceremony to sign the new Paris Agreement on Climate Change. The US Secretary of State John Kerry brought his granddaughter. In all, about 170 countries queued up to sign the document a record turnout for any UN treaty. The next stage is for countries to ratify it, and on that, there was a significant announcement. We will make early accession. The Chinese Vice Premier, Zhang Gaoli, said his country, the world's largest polluter, would join by September. This comes amid mounting concern about rising global temperatures. Over the past century, these are the years that have set new records. And after another record set last year, look how this year is shaping up. With all the warm words being uttered here, you might think this new agreement on climate change was in the bag. Well, it isn't. It's now up to each individual country to turn their promises into practical action. So no surprise, all eyes are on the United States with the presidential elections coming up and Republican candidates who just don't want any part of this. We don't know who is the next president and what the stand the new administration will take. So the people are watching eagerly. Amid all the uncertainty, NASA has released this new video, meant as a reminder of what's at stake. David Shukman, BBC News, New York.